Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new episode of Red Light Questions. We got a whole bunch of comments to read this week, and I got to give a quick disclaimer at the beginning of this week's episode of Red Light Questions. I'm not trying to make this video right here be just me talk about comments that are talking good about me. That's all you guys left com comments about, which I'm super grateful for, and I thank you guys so much for that. Got a whole bunch of comments here today, but I just want to let you guys know at the beginning, you guys can leave comments on these videos about absolutely anything and we'll read them and discuss them here but this is just going to be like the how great is sammy sex yz edition of red light questions with the comments you guys left with the first one here from kevin l you said first ttve sim just keep being you man you will accomplish great things stay focused on school and never stop chasing your dream thank you so very much for that man that means a lot then scott mall pass said ttve then ed b said can't wait for money to hear what that's about and i apologize i completely forgot to tell you guys the big crazy piece of news that I had for you all. So I will share it to you guys right here in this week's episode of Red Light Questions. Again, I apologize. I didn't share this in Monday Night Stream. I wanted to get your initial like thoughts and reaction to this as well, like see it in live in real time. But we were talking about so much other crazy stuff on Monday and I completely forgot to... I don't know if I had it in my notes and deleted it because I thought I put this in my notes for this stream, but whatever. I forgot to discuss this on Monday night. But ladies and gentlemen... This was la this actually happened not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, although I didn't find out about this until not this Tuesday, this most recent one, the Tuesday before. I was sitting on the couch editing the stream highlights. The stream highlights take a little while to edit, and I was doing all that, getting everything ready and put together, and I was looking at the main dashboard page on YouTube Studio here, which is where like you view all your stuff for your YouTube channel, and you can see recent subscribers and it shows the recent subscribers that are public it doesn't show everyone only the people that make their subscribers public and i just glanced at it real quick because it's not something i look at it's just over on like the bottom right side when you first go on this screen and i just glanced over at it real quick and then i instantly had to do a double take like i was like what in the hell was that i go over there i see a name there subscribed to my channel and instantly, I was, I was in, like, in literal shock. It was so crazy to me. Then I had to click on view all of the thing to expand it. I had to click on the channel, see if it was the actual one, go on the channel, look at their subscribers, see if my name was there, and it was for real. I'll tell you guys who it is in a sec, but we got to give some background and some, like, hype up to this real quick, as if it doesn't need enough hype already with how crazy this is. Why I started Street Race Talk, the inspiration for that stems from the Chief and Sean show. Chief and Sean talking about street outlaws and all that stuff. I'm like, man, that seems really cool to do. I want to do something like that myself, so I started Street Race Talk. My inspiration for getting into drag racing was Hot Rod Drag Week. Jeff Lutz, Larry Larson, watched them race drag week, and I fell in love with drag racing from that. Although, the thing that put me over the edge and got me, like, made me fall in love with old cars and stuff. My inspiration for wanting to get a car such as Betsy and build that was roadkill, ladies and gentlemen. And the man who subscribed to my channel was the one and only Mike Finnegan. I like, hang on, I'm gonna go check real quick just to see once again, if I'm not just going absolutely crazy. No, recent subscribers. Finnegan's Garage, right here, his channel, date subscribed November 6, 2021. When, like, <laughs> when I first, I was left in complete shock. I was like, no effing way. M Mike Finnegan watches my YouTube videos. We gotta start making more videos of Betsy now. If I got Mike Finnegan watching my stuff, like, oh my god, that is like, when I first saw that, I was honestly just. That is one of the craziest things that has ever happened to me, I'll say, in my entire life. Because you might say, oh, well, it's... The Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm going... Oh, my gosh, I'm closing all my stuff. I'm trying to pull back up the comments that I was reading. And I'm thinking, well, what about the Big Chief interview? Like I said, that is one, that, one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me. This is right up there with that. Because, like, those, like, Big Chief and Mike Finnegan, like, the two names, like, I have just followed so much looked up to like follow everything they do it's just like i don't know if he's watching this video right now mike finney if you are 
I'm a huge fan. Thank you so much for watching our videos and subscribing to my channel. But like, when I saw that, I was just blown away. I didn't want to do, like, I didn't want to say this in the video because I wanted to do it in the stream to get your instant reactions, but that means I'll just have to be sitting there reading all the comments right away when this video goes live, as if I don't do that enough already. Normally, my videos go live, and I'm eating dinner right when it goes live. No, I'm cooking dinner right when it goes live. So I'm gonna be over there making dinner, reading all the comments, seeing your guys' reaction to hearing Mike Finnegan subscribe to my channel. Oh my gosh, that was just so crazy. Then, hang on, I gotta figure, sorry, I gotta figure which comment I was on. All right, the next comment, that was all from Ed B's comment. Hey, Ed B, thank you so much for watching. Then Philip Canva, the next comment here said, Hi, Sim, I'm not first and don't care. Thanks, thank you for your videos. Hey, thank you so much for watching and commenting on all of them as well, man. Then Pastor O left the comment said, While Sim, I love history too, I wrote a little book called The Church That Jesus Christ Built. It spans from AD 30 to our present day. I'm currently writing another little history book that may be out for Christmas and I'm not on your level, but I would love someday to pick your brain. Kudos to you, bud. Sam, you're a winner. Whatever you decide to do, will you will win, my friend. Thank you so much for that comment. I always love reading your comments, Pastor. Oh, you're the best. That's so cool that you, you wrote a book already and you're writing another one. I've had some college professors that have written books as well, but they always make it seem like they're just writing them to write them. With you, like the topic you're writing about, it seems like something you obviously, your name's Pastor O, something you're truly passionate about. And it's just, that's so cool to see, man. That, okay, best of luck with hopefully finishing your book before Christmas. And thank you so very much for watching and leaving a comment. Like I said, I always love seeing your comments. Then Rick O said, you are entertaining and you are a great source of news. Keep up. Keep up the good, the good luck. Hey, I'm doing my best with the good luck, but I think you meant good work. But thank you so much for that as well. And that's one of the craziest things about my videos. Now, I know I mentioned this in a video. At least I think I did, but I don't remember which video it was. That's kind of, my my brain's all mumbled, jumbled with all the different videos and the stuff I talk about. But I'm really, like, grateful that with the people that watch my videos, I've got people that watch my videos just simply for entertainment. Then I also got people that watch my videos simply for news. Then I got people that watch my videos for both. I think that's just su such like a cool demographic of an audience that I've gotten. I'm really appreciative for all you that watch my stuff for all those different reasons. Then Carlos M said, TTV, thank you so very much for watching. Juan Gonzalez said, hey, Sam, another awesome video episode of Red Light Questions. Bro, I'd love to hear you read off all the comments. Great work. You keep a full plate, my friend. As always, keep up the awesome work. Let's go, TTV. And I've said this once before. I like having like a full plate. I like having stuff to do. Saturday and Sundays are like the most boring days for me because I don't have anything to do. I don't film videos on Saturdays and Sundays. I don't go to the gym or swim because I genuinely need the rest. If I were to go to the gym, I would be too sore for the rest of the week. And then the one time I, when I would swim those extra two days, my skin, it was just way too dry. My skin needs time to relax and not get sucked dry from the chlorine. So I enjoy having stuff to do. I like doing stuff. And I said this before, and you guys are like, oh, wait, once you get, like, a real job and stuff, you'll love the weekends. I mean, like, I understand the reason for people loving the weekends, but I just, Saturday and Sunday is just boring days for me. I like doing stuff during the week. Like, I'm sitting here on a Wednesday. It is 11.01 a.m. I'm about, right when I'm done finishing this, I'm going to wolf down some food, leave for school, come home from school, edit this video turn in all my homework I have that's due today, then go swim, come home, make dinner, eat dinner, then just hang out for the rest of the night. Like, I love having, like, a whole laundry list of stuff to do throughout the day. Then you tar and said, I love the word Sim World. It seems Sim Nation is growing huge. T-T-V-E. Sim World. Hey, we got some crazy stuff. Like I said, I'm, I want to, because we got a couple now, and I'm going to do a, we'll do probably a poll on either the community tab, or we could do it with you guys that watch the streams on Monday night, do a poll during the stream to figure out what to call you guys. And then D. Scaglione said, Sim, great video. As the saying goes, when you got it, you got it. And well, you got it all right. We're here for you to support you and see you accomplish great things. And that brings us great satisfaction. Keeping you and keep doing your thing. You got this and we got your back. SimWorld TTV. Okay, okay. Oh, God bless. Thank you so very much for that comment. And then the next comment here from your Nemesis 1966. I, I, I believe that's supposed to be Nemesis. And you got a, what's your profile picture here? You got a newer Camaro, man. That thing's sweet. What's the 1966, though? You got a car from 66? Hey, if you do, let us know what it is in the comment section down below. You said, Sim, thank you for your videos and coverage. TTV, you love watching your content and would love seeing you out covering live No Prep Kings races. Street racing events, keep up the good work. That's something I really want to do. And I was thinking about this a lot recently. And... People want to see me, like they said, you should like try and commentate over events. And I think that would be cool. But with a commentator, 
the commentator is behind the camera. You hear their voice and they focus on the racing. I think something fun for me to do is at live events or live races. I have a camera filming me and like the main attention of the camera is me, but I'm talking about this stuff that's going on. It doesn't sound like th the idea I have in my head is radically different from that bland brief description I just gave but I think something like that would be cool like have like I'm around talk like say I'm going around talking to drivers like watching a race talking to fans and the camera's on me the whole time and it's like we're there though at the, like I feel like I'm describing it weird trust me I got a good idea for that in my head I just thought about this this past week and I think that would be something really fun to do I might have to try it one day at some event then Joe Wright said red light questions is the best of the best thank you so much for that man then the final comment this week oh I forgot how to print. You told me how to pronounce your name. I think it's Ariex. I believe so. Our fan from the Netherlands. You said, hey, Sim, I have to correct my last comment. I was looking at the programming on our Discovery Netherlands, and I see that they have started with Twin Turbos Season 2. Unfortunately, it's a rerun, but at least it's something. The car culture here is booming. So that cannot be the reason that they don't show Street Outlaws over here. We have a lot of drag racing here at car sh and car shows usually. No, not it's a bit quiet because of the C19 crap. I've been active in the car show world for 21 years and it keeps growing, just like the 8th mile drag racing. I think that they just play it safe and show things most people like, but the problem is that 90% of it is reruns. They just don't give a crap about the shows that air. Keep up the good work. Hey, I want to ask you, thank you so much for that comp, but I want to ask you, like, what are the popular cars over there? Out in the Netherlands? Like, here, obviously, it's I, well, honestly, in the U.S., it's everything. You have all kind like the Japanese cars, like with Nissan, Hondas, all that kind of stuff. Then you got all the American muscle stuff. But what is it over in the Netherlands? I think in like, I want to say in Europe, there's a lot of Fords and stuff. The, like I love like they got the, all that different version you guys got all in Europe got all the cool versions of the escorts and stuff that might just be England I think it's all of Europe though but then there's like German cars and stuff like what are the popular cars in Netherlands if you could please give a follow-up with that for next week that would be greatly appreciated but that is all for this week's episode of Red Light Questions. I thank you all so very much for watching TTVE. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you guys click that little bell to notifications on so you do not miss a single video that I upload. All my videos I upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Monday nights go live here at 6.50 p.m. Central Standard Time where we watch the new episodes of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. Make sure you guys leave your thoughts, opinions, comments, concerns about anything and everything in the comment section down below because the comments for next week's episode of Red Light Questions get taken from the comment section from down below in this week's episode of Red Light Questions. Make sure you guys check out MidwestStreetCars.com and use coupon code SAMBASICYZ for 20% off. Sim A B C X Y Z for 20% off your order. I apologize. I messed it up right there. Make sure you guys check out MidwestStreetCards.com. You guys know the whole ordeal by now. And use coupon code S-I-M-A-B-C-X-Y-Z for 20% off your order. I also set up a P.O. box. So if you guys would like to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. Thank you all so very much for watching T-T-V-E. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at SAMBASICYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim A B C X. Y Z signing out.